Now in order to understand what data mining is, it would be helpful to get a feel for the amount of data that is being generated nowadays. Here is a quote from Eric Schmidt who was the CEO of Google for over a decade. At one of the conferences he said that every two days now we create as much information as we did from the dawn of civilization up until 2003. So if you if you combine the amount of recorded information from the dawn of civilization up until 2003 we are able to create that much information in just two days now. Now that's really an enormous amount of data. I think this example or this analogy conveys a better feel for how much data there is being generated today than, than saying that it's 10 to the power 15 bytes or 10 to the power 18 bytes. I mean those are all astronomical numbers and um, we don't really get a mental feel for how much data is being generated. But analogies like this help. So there is a massive amount of data being created on a daily basis today. That is, we are in an extremely data rich situation. But the problem is that much of the data that's being generated is never analyzed at all. So in the plot shown below, the purple curve tells you how much data is being generated across time. So starting from 1995 to about 1999 the amount of data that there was out there was increasing in this almost an exponential way. Now we start from 95 and end at 99 over here because I've taken this plot from the slides of one of the uh, popular textbooks on data mining by Tan, Steinbeck and Kumar and uh, uh, their plot stops at 1999. But anyway you can imagine that this trend is going to continue even beyond 1999 right up till today. What's more important here is the trend. There's an exponential increase in the amount of data being generated. But if you look at the number of data analysts that are available to analyze that data, the number of analysts has gone up by only an insignificant amount. In fact, if you look at this uh, curve over here, it's pretty much a flat curve. So you can see that there is a gap between the amount of data that's being generated and the number of people that there are to analyze that data. And this is called the data gap. That is, there is a gap between the generation of data and our understanding of it. Now a lot of potentially useful knowledge may lie hidden in this data which, which, which mostly doesn't get analyzed at all. That is, which is impossible to be analyzed by any number of humans. So we need to use techniques, computational techniques to automate the extraction of knowledge from this massive amount of data. And that is the job of a data miner. So in this picture you can see a data miner or a data mining specialist who is using data mining tools Right, so these are the tools that the data miner is using in order to take the massive amount of data that's out there in the world and to mine knowledge out of it using these tools. So just as miners take an enormous quantity of gold ore and extract gold nuggets out of it, 
a relatively small number of gold nuggets out of a huge quantity of raw, raw gold ore. In the same way, a data miner will take this huge amount of data and extract nuggets of knowledge out from that data. This leads us to the following definition of data mining. Data mining involves the extraction or the mining of knowledge from large amounts of data using computational techniques. Another commonly used phrase is knowledge discovery from data, KDD. So this is also often used as a synonym for data mining. But the important parts of this definition are that firstly you have a large amount of data which is impossible for any human being to analyze and we need computational techniques therefore to wade through all that data and to extract knowledge out of that data and that is what data mining is. Now data mining overlaps with many disciplines. So if you have uh, uh, if you have uh, been exposed to a course on data mining uh, you would know that there are there is a large amount of overlap with courses on statistics, machine learning, information retrieval, distributed computing, database systems and so on. And usually people, people who come from these different backgrounds will approach the subject of data mining in slightly different ways. So if you do a course in the statistics department on data mining, the style and the approach and even the content is going to be significantly different from a course where you approach the subject of data mining from a database system perspective or from an information retrieval or web mining perspective, which is actually the perspective that we will be taking in this course. We will also look at uh, machine learning techniques at many places and we will also look at distributed computing techniques at many places that are used in data mining. So our focus or our concentration will be primarily be on an information retrieval approach to data mining or web mining relying significantly on techniques from distributed computing and machine learning.